Okay. Uh, today I'm going to talk about pea leads. In particular, uh, in particular, I'm going to talk about uh, pea leads for Bendix magnetos. So there are a number of different types, but they all start with the wire. And this is our pea lead wire. It is uh, 14 gauge, so it's a little, little tougher than uh, some of the others out there. Most of the original pea lead wires were 18 gauge, uh, kind of, kind of flimsy. And you can see this has been cut back already. We've got the main insulator or main wire with its uh, Tefcel coating here. This is going to connect to the magneto and to your magneto switch, on off switch. And then you have the shielding, which I've cut back. This is going to connect to the mag frame, to the body of the magneto, uh, through, the, through the conductor, through the, um, the terminal kit. And the other end of the lead will have a longer uh, shielding with a ring terminal on it that will connect to the ground terminal on your mag switch. Now, the P leads are assembled pretty much the same way. I'm going to dump out a few parts here. Okay, so it starts with the nut. Now this is the nut that's going to screw onto the terminal on the back of the magneto. So the nut would go on the wire and then here is the bushing, the copper bushing and it uh, fits down over the shielding and then it's going to be soldered to the shielding at this point. Then the insulator goes on and the wire is trimmed back until you have a short leads here and there's an itty bitty tiny washer here that will then get soldered onto the face of this to be the contact and then you have a terminal put on your p-lead wire. The process looks easy. <laughs> In practice it's uh, it's kind of fussy so um, you may elect to do this yourself or if you don't uh, we have uh, P leads that we can make up for you using these parts. Now the P lead kits, terminal kits are FAA PMA approved. Uh, just recently Bogart Aviation received their PMA for these parts. Uh, we have <coughs> we have five different kits uh, depending on which Bendix mag you need. So this is uh, one of the kits for some of the S. 20 series magnetos. And then we have uh, the other kit for the majority of the S20 magnetos. This kit was for the uh, the S200 and S600 series magnetos. And then we have um, let's see, this is a kit for the D2000, D3000 series magnetos. And then the following up here, this is a retard connection for people that have a shower of sparks uh, connection on their magneto. The magnetos that don't have impulse couplings. Okay, so we went through the wire and the terminals. Let me show you an example of made up pea leads here. <clears throat> Again, this is the, uh, the 2000 or two hundred or excuse me the S20 series uh, terminal and um, this has a 3 8 inch barrel and overall length of the insulator is like 0.966 just about an inch long. Uh, the other S20 terminal uh, is also about an inch long and it's still 3 8 of an inch in diameter but the insulator is actually in two pieces so that this can be bent a little bit going in, making it easier in really tight spaces. So those are the two different terminal types for S20 magnetos. And we have, um, let's do the S200 series. So this is the S200. 
and uh, you'll notice the insulator is a lot smaller. It's a quarter of an inch in diameter and overall length of the insulator is just 0.56 inches for insulator length there. So a quarter of an inch diameter, 0.56 insulator long, and the nut is a uh, it is a 7 16 28. Here's an example of the other end of the uh, the P lead. This is the lead that's going to go to your terminal on the mag switch and this is the shielding. We've covered it with uh, shrink tube. This is going to go to the ground terminal on your mag switch. Then we have this is uh, whoop, that's the one for the retard. Let's do this one. Um, so this is the terminal for the S200 series magnetos. It's uh, it uses. Uh, oh wait a second. I think I got. I told you wrong. We did the 200 already. This is the D2000 D3000 series magneto. Now. It's still a quarter of an inch in diameter, but the insulator is shorter. It's only 0.46 inches long. Here's a, we'll put these two side by side. You can see that the D3000 series terminal is much shorter, and so they're not interchangeable. The nuts are the same size, but you can't use a, a 200 series P lead on a D2000 series mag, it won't go in far enough to get the nuts started. And on the D3000 series, you put this on a 200 series mag, it won't go in far enough to ground out the magneto. So you have to make sure you get the right part number terminal kits or order the right type of style of P lead in order for it to work out right. <clears throat> Now bringing up the rear here, we have we have another P lead that uh, is very simple. You know, it just has ring terminals on either end. This is a P lead for the slick type magnetos. Now the slicks just have uh, terminal studs on the magneto, so it's easy to connect uh, the leads just using a ring terminal. It's still shielded wire. Now let me talk about the wire again for a second. So um, if you have a, a six-cylinder engine and at 2400 RPM there are approximately 14,400 150 volt impulses that go into the P-lead. So you get 150 volts pulsing 14,000 times in a minute and uh, that can set up some uh, emissions that uh, will be picked up by your radios and other electronic instruments. So you want to make sure that your shielding is in good shape and it's terminated on both ends on the magneto P leads so that you can reduce the amount of electrical interference you're going to get from your magnetos. Uh, can't overstress stress that. On a four cylinder engine, uh, just for grins and giggles, it's about uh, uh, let's see what is it? It's uh, four cylinder. It's 9,600 impulses per minute. 9,600, 150 volt impulses down this wire. So make sure your shielding's good. Inspect your airplane. If the shielding is broken at, at the magneto or damaged and it's been spliced with together with butt connectors, etc., get rid of all that. Replace it with something better. You'll save your instruments, especially, you know, people that are putting expensive glass panels in their airplane and stuff. All that electronic stuff can be affected by a magneto noise, so uh, take care of that. So, uh, like I say, we have Bowert Aviation, Inc. You can find our website easily. Uh, we have the custom-made P leads that we can make up for just about any kind of airplane. And... Uh, we have also the magneto terminal kits for the Bendix magnetos. So look us up. Uh, thank you very much. If you have any questions about magnetos or P leads for magnetos, please give us a call. 
that's what we're here for. We'll take care of you.